グレイその顔を私に見せるな You asked for this. Sobro Ni of GNA reviews here with another servant spotlight, this time for the waiver killer himself, Shit. Merlin. We'll be examining his stats and skills, as well as going over pointers on how to utilize them effectively and an overall grade comparing him to how he stacks up to the other 5 star servants. Now, on to Merlin's stats. Merlin has a max HP of 14,259, which is average among 5 star casters and overall above average for a 5 star servant. His max attack of 10,546 is below average for a 5 star caster, and when taking into account his 0.9 times damage modifier, his effective attack becomes 9,491, which is extremely low for a 5 star servant. Taking a look at his skills, Merlin's first skill is Dreamlike Charisma Rank A. It increases the attack of all allies for 3 turns between 10 and 20%, depending on level, and it also increases their Noble Phantasm gauge by 20%. Merlin's second skill is Illusion Rank A. It applies invincibility to the whole team and increases their critical star drop rate for 1 turn between 30 and 50%, as well as decreasing the critical rate of all enemies for 3 turns between 10 and 20%. Both depending on level. And finally, Merlin's last skill is Hero Creation Rank EX. It increases the Buster Card effectiveness of an ally for three turns between 30 and 50%. It also increases their maximum HP for three turns between 2000 and 3000, and increases their crit strength for one turn between 50 and 100%. All three depending on level. As for his passives, Merlin has Territory Creation Rank C, which increases Arts Card Effectiveness by 6%, Item Construction Rank C, which increases Debuff Success Rate by 6%, and Mixed Blood Rank EX, which increases his NP Gauge by 5% per turn. Moving on to his deck and Noble Phantasm, Merlin has a pure Arts deck with Quick Arts 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 Buster and an Arts Noble Phantasm. His Noble Phantasm is Garden of Avalon. It restores HP to all allies for 5 turns between 1000 and 2000, depending on level. It also increases the NP gauge of all allies for 5 turns by 5%, and you gain between 5 and 25 crit stars per turn for 5 turns, depending on overcharge. Taking a closer look at his cards, we see that Merlin's Quick Car hits 3 times, his Arch hits twice, his Buster hits 5 times, and his Extra Attack hits 6 times. He has an NP gain rate of 0.81% and a star rate of 10.8%. This means he has good NP gain from his Triple Arts deck and high NP rate, and poor star generating from just having one Quick Card. Well, you've been waiting for this for a month. Some of you guys wanted me to do a 1 to 5 second spotlight, just calling him OP and giving him his triple S plus rating. Others of you wanted me to do a legit spotlight, and then the rest of you just wanted the memes. In the end, I'm gonna try for a legit spotlight. Merlin, as I'm sure you all know, is OP. He's the best servant in the game, period. His stats alone are decent, but what makes him OP are his skills and his noble phantasm. His first skill is a full on charisma that also gives a huge 20% charge to the whole team's Noble Phantasm gauge. And this skill is absolutely insane for farming teams because it eliminates the need for a max limit broken kaleidoscope and it also gives you a very strong buff. The cooldown on this skill is very low, so your team will not only have a good charisma, but also have a good NP battery available constantly. On any other servant, this skill would be the defining feature of their playstyle. On Merlin, this is his most plain skill. So buckle up. He has an even better damage buff in his third skill, Hero Creation. This is arguably the best skill in the whole game, rivaled only by Merlin's other skill. This is a targetable mana burst that also increases an ally's max HP for three turns, which is even better than a heal, and it also gives them a crazy 100% crit buff. This is a bonkers skill that can just turn any Buster Servant, even this one, into a threat. On servants that are already godlike, like Ku Alter and Jolter, this is just going to push their damage into Looney Tunes territory where their crits are going to deal as much damage as their Noble Phantasms. And finally, Illusion is Merlin's defensive skill. It just gives the whole team invincibility for free with no demerit. This is John's Noble Phantasm on a skill. It also increases your crit star drop rate and reduces your enemy's critical hit rate just because. Obviously, this skill is another contender for best skill in the game. It protects your entire party from virtually anything the enemy can do for a whole turn 99% of the time. 
I should also mention that Merlin's passives are ridiculous. Territory creation and the passive 5% NP charge mean he's going to have insane NP gain every turn. Skill priority for Merlin should be hero creation first for the best damage buff, followed by dreamlike charisma for the cooldown reduction, and then finally illusion. If you're using Merlin to stall rather than in a buster or a crit team, then you're going to want to go for dreamlike charisma first, followed by illusion and then hero creation since it doesn't have as much priority outside of buster teams. Merlin's NP is, again, one of the best in the game. It gives your whole team five entire turns of healing, crit stars, and NP charge. This is what enables Merlin to be a great star generator and to spam out his Noble Phantasm. The craziest thing about Merlin's Noble Phantasm though is that it stacks, and because his NP gauge is constantly charging and the effect lasts for 5 turns, you can easily stack this Noble Phantasm 2 or 3 times. So every turn your whole team is just passively healing for 3000 HP, gaining 15 free crit stars and 15% NP charge. It's a free 2030 and Prisma Cosmos for the whole team, but better. At this point, I think it's pretty obvious why Merlin is so highly regarded, but to break it down even further, the reason Merlin is the best servant in the game is because he has literally no weaknesses and he gives out free stats that benefit every servant in the game tremendously. NP charge, crit stars, healing, and invincibility are all buffs that work on everyone, not just buster teams or crit teams or arts teams, these are universal buffs. And while even super supports like Tamamo and Waver have a weakness, namely their lack of hard defense, Merlin has none. He's beyond tanky thanks to his non-stop healing and invincibility, he has some of the best damage buffs in the game as a support, and his NP gain is off the charts once he gets his first Noble Phantasm off, enabling constant spamming. So he can't be killed and he has universal buffs for every servant at no cost. If I did have to pick one weak spot on Merlin, it would be that the cooldown on Illusion is kinda long, but then again, it's a free Jean Noble Phantasm, so that's expected. Merlin is also very easy to use, there isn't much tactical or strategic nuance to him, you're gonna want to use your charisma as much as possible, save hero creation for when your buster servant is about to Noble Phantasm, or you can use it as an emergency heal on some stall teams, and you cast Illusion right when the enemy is about to Noble Phantasm you. Unless you're in a crit team, you also want to lead any Noble Phantasm chains you have with Merlin because his overcharge is only good for getting more stars. I should also note that while this isn't exactly a weakness, it is important to keep in mind that Merlin is a reactionary servant. He protects your team and he buffs them. He doesn't have any tools for stalling an enemy. Stuff like decreasing their NP charge or sealing their Noble Phantasm or debuffing them. So if you are using him in a stall team, a debuffer is needed. Speaking of which, let's talk team comp. Merlin fits in literally any team with any servant. Before Scotty came around in JP, the joke was that the best quick support was Merlin and the best buster and art supports are Merlin. And there is some truth to that. Merlin works alongside any servant in any team exceptionally well, since he does it all. But he does work on some setups better than others. Despite his consistent and amazing star generating, I will argue that his best two roles are as a staller and as a buster support. As a buster support, you're best used when supporting high burst damage servants like Gil, Musashi, or Lu Bu. Like I said, literally any buster servant will work, but Gil in particular works great because he can make very good use of Merlin's consistent crit star engine, and Merlin's illusion skill covers up for Gil's only flaw, which is his lack of defense. Similarly, Musashi also benefits from the wealth of crit stars, but more importantly she benefits from the NP charge. Merlin's Noble Phantasm and Charisma enable Musashi to use her Noble Phantasm a lot more often without having to rely on the long cooldown of her first skill. And finally, Lubu is a Berserker. All Berserkers appreciate a damage buff, healing, and hard defense, all things Merlin provides. The Buster buff also scales multiplicatively with Lubu's attack buff and his NP damage buff, so you better believe he's going to be hitting like a truck. When going the stall team route, like I said, a good debuffer is key. 
And that's why Media and Tamamo are fantastic here. Media is one of the best buff removers in the whole game, so she makes up for what Merlin lacks with her Rule Breaker, and she can also remove debuffs, something else Merlin lacks. Tamamo's curse skill is good for stall, while her healing combined with her cooldown reduction make you into a combo that can heal every turn and have access to a short cooldown invincibility. Oh, and your NP gain is going to be even crazier because of Fox Wedding and Tamamo's Noble Phantasm. And finally, the best servant to pair with Merlin is another Merlin, because you get all the insane advantages that Merlin gives you, but times two. Merlin's Bondcraft Essence is Tower at the End of the World, it buffs your party's buster damage by 10%, and their crit strength by 15%. I highly recommend using this Craft Essence if you're using Merlin in a buster team. Other than that, you're going to want to use Craft Essences on Merlin that bolster his NP gain if you're going to be using him in a balanced team or a stall team. Craft Essences like Prisma Cosmos, Magical Girl of Sapphire, Divine Banquet, or March of the Saints are all fantastic choices. And for a buster team or a crit team, equip Merlin with craft essences that generate crit stars. Stuff like 2030, his rightful place, or Fox Knight's Dream. And for future proofing, there are several options you can go with. Chocolatier is great for supporting crit teams. Maiden of the Flower Garden is a great choice for stall teams. And Painting Summer looks amazing. It also helps with uh, NP spamming. Overall, Merlin is the best servant in the game in my humble opinion. There isn't much competition right now, he just does it all and he does it all flawlessly. He provides endless free buffs, he has insane NP spam potential, he has the best skill set in the game, he's extremely easy to use, and he fits into any team imaginable. If you have Merlin, you cannot go wrong. He does have limitations the same way every servant does, but pretty much no major weaknesses, so he gets the very first EX rating from me. He's just that good. He isn't overhyped. The Buster meta isn't dead, even in JP. So pat yourself on the back if you have him. And if you don't, just do like me and borrow a friend's. And those are my thoughts on Merlin. So now you guys can stop spamming Where's Merlin in every video. And you can start spamming Where's Gramps. As always, let me know what you think in the comments below. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed the video. And consider subscribing if you really enjoyed the video. Join the party over at our Discord, chill with us on Twitch, and follow us on Twitter. And I'll see you all in the next Servant Spotlight. So, burning out. Later.